From the end zone to the sidelines, you're watching Junior College Football Highlights. Here is Maricopa Gridiron, Game 1. The Glendale Gonchos faced off against the number 9 Scottsdale Artichokes. This game features SEC quarterback Blade Decker, who is named as one of the NJCAA Football Players of the Week for his game against New Mexico Military, completing 31 of 51 passes for 689 yards and a school record 10 touchdown passes. Scottsdale came out of the gates hot. Decker hooks up with wide receiver Steve Bell for a 40-yard gain. A couple of plays later, Decker finds wide receiver Brandon Holyfield over the middle for a touchdown. Glendale quarterback Travis Eamon had trouble early in the game finding his targets. Scottsdale linebacker Antonio Smothers took advantage of his inaccuracy and picked off his pass intended for wide receiver Cody Zimmerman. On the ensuing drive, Blake Decker throws a long ball to wide receiver Annis Hasek for a 40-yard gain. The next play, Decker completes his second touchdown of the game to tight end Braden Bowman, jumping out to a 21-0 lead. GCC was able to gain some momentum late in the first quarter. Linebacker Deshaun Mays faked the blitz, then dropped back into coverage and picked off a pass from Decker. On the next drive, Glendale quarterback Trey Grant throws an interception in the end zone to Scottsdale defensive back Curtis Taylor. The artichokes marched down the field that included a quick screen pass to wide receiver Thaddeus Thompson and a 20-yard catch to Brayden Bowman. SEC tailback Zaquan Summers finished off the job with a one-yard touchdown run. Glendale was able to put a drive together late in the first half. Travis Eadman throws a 65-yard bomb to wide receiver Giovanni Pascuccio down the sideline for a touchdown. Scottsdale goes into halftime with the lead, 35-7. In the second half, Scottsdale went for a fourth down conversion, but Decker was stopped by GCC linebacker Shadow Williams. The Scottsdale defense came right back at Glendale. SEC defensive back Patrick Glover recovers a fumble for a 25-yard artichoke touchdown. Glendale wide receiver Braxton Nickerson had a good kick return that landed the Gonchos on their 40-yard line. On that drive, Travis Eamon scrambles to the left and breathes some life into the Glendale offense with his 11-yard game. Trey Grant makes a great throw in the red zone for a touchdown, but is dropped by wide receiver Jesse Tate. On fourth down and goal, Grant runs the ball to the one-yard line and fumbles the ball at the goal line, which created a touchback. Scottsdale puts together a drive that included tough running by Summers and a couple of good catches by wide receiver Deke Sisko. Artichoke's wide receiver Teddy Rubin caps off an 80-yard drive by splitting two defenders on his way to a SEC touchdown. The last drive of the game ended with Glendale tailback Makatufa's 7-yard touchdown run, but it was not enough. Scottsdale beats Glendale 51-14, and this win moves them one step closer to a value of the Sun Bowl bid. We spoke with Coach Madowski after the game about the play of his defense. I appreciate you only get up 14, but 14 is still too many. We need to we need to do better than that. And Coach's whole their whole focus was you know to come out, prepare, go hard, practice, you know, and, and the whole Scott Stuck Glendale rivalry, you know, we know we had to come in, you know, and, and, and come up and show up. I'm Jay Russell for Maricopa Gridiron. In other WSFL action, Phoenix College traveled to snow to take on the Badgers. The snow defense recorded five sacks, and the Badgers shut the Bears out, winning the game 35 to zero. Arizona Western crushed New Mexico military, 47 to 27. Quarterback Tyler Rogers threw for two touchdowns and had three rushing touchdowns. Arizona Western improves to seven to one on the season. Pima hosted Eastern Arizona and came up short against the Gila Monsters. Eastern gets the win, 10 to seven. Eastern ends the season on a three game winning streak. I'm Jay Russell for Maricopa Gridiron. Next week on Gridiron, Mesa battles Glendale, and the Artichokes travel to Phoenix College to take on the Bears. Watch all the great plays and get the final scores only on Maricopa Gridiron. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium.